15 things you didn't know about Conor McGregor. Welcome to ALUX.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello ALUXers and welcome to another exciting original video presented by ALUX.com. Today we're focusing on Conor McGregor, a mixed martial artist and professional boxer who has quickly made a name for himself in the UFC world and beyond. Conor started his MMA career in 2008, and in 2012, he held the Cage Warriors featherweight title and lightweight championship title simultaneously, making him the first European MMA fighter to hold titles in two divisions at the same time. During a trip to Ireland in 2013, UFC President Dana White was overwhelmed with requests that he sign Conor McGregor. He was soon offered a contract and signed with UFC. In 2015, he achieved the fastest victory in UFC title fight history when he defeated Jose Aldo by knockout in just 13 seconds. When he defeated Eddie Alvarez for the UFC lightweight championship, he was the first UFC fighter to hold titles in two weight divisions simultaneously. His bold style and incredible fighting ability have also made him the biggest pay-per-view draw in MMA history. He also stands to have the biggest payday ever when he fights the undefeated Floyd Mayweather, who is coming out of retirement to face him. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at ALUX. Connor's passion, dedication, ambition, confidence, and success are definitely a source of inspiration, so let's learn more about him with these 15 things you didn't know about Connor McGregor. Number 1. He used to be a plumber. Even though Connor had incredible talent as a fighter, that wasn't viewed as a viable career path for him, so he became an apprentice plumber in his late teens. He worked as a plumber for a year, but his heart wasn't in it. He knew that if he wanted to be a professional fighter, he would need to dedicate himself 100% to training, so he quit his job and focused entirely on chasing that dream. Number 2. He went from collecting welfare checks to a $100 million payday in four years. Before Connor's UFC debut, he was struggling financially. Even a week before his first fight, he relied on a welfare check he got from the Irish government that was around $235. After his 67-second knockout of his opponent Marcus Brimage in his UFC debut in April of 2013, he was awarded with a $60,000 payday. Now only four years later, he is set to cash in for somewhere around $100 million for his fight against Floyd Mayweather. Number 3. He hired 24-7 security after receiving death threats. He has personal bodyguards watching him even when he's sleeping. After receiving death threats in 2016, Connor hired a full-time security detail that watches his back around the clock, even while he's sleeping. Connor also has dealt with stalkers in the past, which has led him to beefing up his security team. Number 4. He purchased a $2.5 million estate in 2015. After earning $15 million for a 13-second fight against Jose Aldo in 2013, Connor dropped $2.5 million on an Irish estate called Lady Castle. The home is located on the grounds of the upscale K-Club Resort in Kildare, Ireland. Some of his neighbors weren't too happy with his presence in the community, though, and in 2017, some actually filed a complaint to the estate's board of management that Connor's security team was making it difficult to navigate the streets. Number 5. He owns a limited edition Lamborghini Huracan Avio. McGregor owns a rare Lamborghini Huracan Avio, which is the only one in Ireland and one of only 250 in the whole world. The Avio is the first limited edition Huracan with colors, exterior decals, upholstery, and interior logos inspired by the Air Force. Connor's Avio is painted Irish green and cost him around $200,000. Number 6. He pays up to $10,000 for each of his custom suits. Connor is known for his unique style, especially his custom-made suits, but his brand of style doesn't come cheap. He actually pays between $4,000 and $10,000 for each custom suit he wears. His personal suit maker is David Hale, the CEO of David August, and he spends about 60 hours making each suit. McGregor's measurements are constantly changing depending on his fights, so making sure the suits are perfectly tailored is no easy feat. Connor orders 8 to 10 original suits every time he goes on a media tour, dropping $50,000 or more on his wardrobe, and Hale says he also has to have 2 to 3 backup suits on hand for him in case of any wardrobe malfunction. Number 7. One of his favorite cars is his BMW i8. One of the cars Connor is most often seen riding around in is his BMW i8, which is a part of BMW's Project i electric fleet. 
The $200,000 vehicle features butterfly doors, rear view cameras, an electric engine, and a partially false engine noise. It can go from 0 to 60 miles an hour in 4.4 seconds and has an electronic limited top speed of 155 miles per hour or 250 kilometers per hour. Number 8. He has an extensive luxury watch collection. Connor likes to buy a watch for himself as a small trophy after each match that he wins. He has an extensive watch collection comprised of luxury timepieces, primarily made by Rolex. In May of 2012, he showed off his most recent watch purchase in an Instagram post that was captioned, This left hand made me millions. The featured timepiece is a $64,000 Nautilus mechanical blue dial watch. Of course, Floyd Mayweather had to show him up on the press tour for their upcoming fight by flashing the diamond-encrusted Hublot watch he bought in Dubai for $1.1 million. Number 9. He wore a $150,000 Gucci outfit for a pre-fight press conference. In July of 2017, Connor showed up for his pre-fight press conference at Brooklyn's Barclay Center dressed head-to-toe -to -toe in Gucci. The focal point of the outfit was a $30,000 custom Gucci mink coat with Gucci's signature snake embroidered on the back. He also wore a red turtleneck and 1970s-inspired brocade Gucci pants. In total, the outfit cost around $150,000. Number 10. Rolls-Royce gave him a ghost as a gift. Rolls-Royce decided to give Connor a generous gift before his 2016 title challenge against Eddie Alvarez at Madison Square Garden. They presented him with a $350,000 customized Rolls-Royce ghost that displayed his likeness and his nickname, Notorious, across both sides. If you want to find out more about this luxury car company, click in the upper right-hand corner to check out our video of 15 things you didn't know about Rolls-Royce. Number 11. He declined an opportunity to play a Bond villain. Connor had been approached by several producers and directors with potential movie roles. Guy Ritchie pursued Connor for a role in his King Arthur movie, but he declined so he could focus on his fighting schedule. He has also turned down roles in the Vin Diesel film Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage, and The Predators reboot directed by Shane Black. He was even approached with the opportunity to audition to be a villain in the James Bond film Spectre, but he says the role was too serious for him. However, he did say he would consider acting in the future if it came with at least a seven-figure payday. Number 12. He bought all of his immediate family cars and paid off their houses. In 2015, when Connor returned to Ireland from the United States, he gathered his immediate family, including his parents, his two sisters, and his girlfriend, and announced that he had bought each of them a BMW 5 Series and was going to be paying off their mortgages. This fulfilled a dream of Connor's, who had envisioned from the beginning of his MMA career walking up to his parents and saying, hey, that mortgage on your house is gone now. Number 13. He has joined a car company to bring luxury cars to Ireland. It's no secret that Connor loves exotic cars, and he wants to bring the finest in luxury automobiles to Ireland's roads in the future. In 2017, he teamed up with the prestigious car company H.R. Owen, and together they are building a network that will facilitate the import of high-end luxury motor vehicles like Bugattis, Lamborghinis, and Bentleys to his native land. Many people in Ireland don't seem to share his enthusiasm for his car venture, though, with critics saying that there aren't many people in the country who can afford such luxury, and that he could be doing something much more constructive to help the Irish people. Number 14. He was the first MMA fighter to appear on Forbes' highest paid athletes list. In 2016, McGregor was the first MMA fighter to appear on Forbes' highest paid athletes list, coming in at number 85, with $22 million in income the year prior. He jumped up to number 24 on the 2017 list with $34 million in income. Athletes who top the list include Cristiano Ronaldo, Lionel Messi, LeBron James, Roger Federer, and Kevin Durant. Number 15. Ireland considered putting Connor's face on a euro coin. In 2015, an Irish citizen named Patrick O'Leary submitted a petition to the country's legislature to put Conor McGregor's face on Ireland's one euro coin. Connor, of course, loved the idea and tried to drum up support, especially through Instagram and Twitter, but after consideration, the legislature deemed the petition inadmissible. Even if it was admissible, it was still a long shot as it would have required approval by a number of European countries. Now that you've learned more about Conor McGregor, how do you think he ranks among the all-time fighting legends? Let us know what you think in the comments. Still here? Here's a bonus fact for being a dedicated A-Luxer. 
In 2016, Connor made $7 million in endorsements alone, representing Monster Energy, Beats by Dre, Reebok, and others. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.